Oh man, so interesting week to say the least. Whole lot of changes to NBA 2K21 Next Gen that we gotta talk about. And of course, since it's a 2K community, there's been some drama between content creators. You can't go a week without that. Ladies and gentlemen, if y'all new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to just real quick, real, real quick let you guys know I'm dropping videos daily on the second channel now. It's me. I know guys, it's fucking me guys, all right? Check it out, link is in the description. Minecraft video with G-Man and Waleed dropping a day. I'm gonna let you get back to it though, bro. So things began a few days ago because Ronnie2k decided to hop onto Twitter and let everybody know about a new change they were making to the game. Ronnie says, the speed at which you earn grind in the early levels has been increased and the grind has been credited to date for the games played if you've been out there grinding. Hope you guys enjoyed the update uh, and happy gaming. So plenty of people that were like pro twos found themselves to be like all-star twos now. A lot of people were arguing that it just took too long to grind, especially if you were somebody playing on the city and not the wreck. But it's kind of cool to see 2K go back and credit everyone for the games played. Everyone kind of shot up a little bit. Meanwhile, I've been in my career grinding, so I'm here just being a little newbie. But my badge is fully complete on my player. I got like a few more defensive badges to go and I'm on the city with it. Grinding responded saying, W, thank you. Definitely no life into legend now, not gonna lie. Good luck on that grind, grinding. You're gonna need it. Things got even more interesting because for the second time since the launch of Next Gen, they did a sweep, man. And Nadex was on Twitter letting everybody know about it. Fed's doing a sweep on the PS5 like they did on the Xbox a few weeks ago. Again, worry about fixing the game instead of banning your creators. And across the board, I know Cole the Man got banned, Steezo got banned, and I'm assuming it's for the badge glitch. If you guys remember the first sweep that they did, some people that did the badge glitch got hit, but my understanding is that people that did the VC glitch was hit with the first sweep. It seems like people that did the badge glitch was hit with this sweep and they're gonna be doing more and more regular sweeps. And if they're comfortable hitting large content creators like they've been doing over the course of I guess ever since 17 when they hit Hank, nobody's really immune to it. Yo guys, you should have known you was gonna get caught, bro, if you got all your badges on the first day that just wasn't possible, man. You kind of brought that upon yourself. You kind of had that one coming. That being said, it would be nice if we can grind our players instead of on the Minecraft playing AI and being a little bit miserable. Actually, very miserable. Maybe it'd be nice if we could just do that on the city where it's actually enjoyable to play. Another change went into place for those who have been grinding their player, Ronnie2k said on Twitter. Mamba mentality badge fix went into place just now. Let us know if you're unlocking it. Happy gaming. I've talked to plenty of people that said that it still doesn't work for them, but across the board, large majority of people are saying that the badge finally works, so congratulations. This is to honor Kobe, so you, you would think it should work. I'm happy the badge is finally working, and I'm very excited to get mine in a couple days. Actually, probably today. Grinding replied to Ronnie's original tweet saying, still getting it recorded, unfortunately. I'll check again tonight. But then the very big update came. You probably downloaded it. It's the one that everybody's been talking about. They finally fixed the chop on NBA 2K21 Next Gen City servers, man. God damn. I haven't really seen a game chop quite like that in my entire lifetime. Before I saw any of the official channels talk about it, it was Joe Knows on Twitter, man. He said, they fixed the chop. They fixed the Mamba mentality badge. They fixed the teammate grade. They fixed the grind. They fixed Rec Center quit out. Credit where credit is due. So a lot of people are crediting 2K with finally releasing the patch that was supposed to solve a lot of the game's issues that made it unplayable. And so you get to hop on the game and actually experience what it's like to be in the city without playing on two frames per second. That being said, I still have heard reports from people saying that there is still chop in the game, but it's not nearly as bad and unplayable as it was before. It's 2K servers at the end of the day, man. I'm not ever gonna go into this expecting the servers to be perfect or far from. I don't even go in expecting them to be good. And that was for the chop late in my experience has been identical and that's an issue that I feel like still needs to be fixed because a lot of the yo this I'll say this they added so many new gameplay improvements like the new foot planting physics and the off ball movement ah, ah. but for all of that stuff to feel good you kind of need the game to be responsive because when you hop in my career you, you could feel it but when you hop online since there's a larger delay you don't you don't, it doesn't feel as responsive. And so that's the reason why I always focus on latency because that's, in my opinion, how you make the most flawless, beautiful, juicy gaming experience. Is you want the game to feel responsive. When I click it, he clacks something. I need it to respond off the rip, man. <laughs> I'm gonna spend this whole video stealing people in the 2K community's sayings. Let me grab my tea, hold on. Let me get my tea real quick. I'm out of tea, goddammit! Hey, for the purpose of this video, 
This is T. So it seems like the devs are on high alert. They're getting a ton of feedback about things that people would like changed about the game. And I can't imagine it's easy to choose which ones to prioritize on. Winner stays on though, uh, ex-NBA 2K League player and competitive prime player brought up a new issue and that's people quitting on the wreck. And because that's the... What's the word I'm looking for? The place where everybody on the game is grinding. It would be nice if you're deciding to play online that you do play against other real opponents, but a lot of people are finding it to where like you hop online and people quit out the game when they're down 25. This is what he had to say. Listen, as a competitor in the 2K community, I'm sick and tired of this potentially great video game being hindered competitively by other players choosing to quit out of games instead of showing good sportsmanship and finishing every game out regardless of the scoreboard. When I enter into a game, I do so to play against other humans. If I wanted to play against CPUs, I would play my career. I play this game to have a competitive fun against other players around the world. Right now, there's not enough of an- Okay, yeah, that's basically the gist of it. I'll be frustrated too. That's part of the reason why I don't play Wreck personally. I just feel like I don't really want to. Pro-Am feels like a more uh, organized, fun, meaningful team experience in my perspective. But because you are getting the badges the fastest and you are leveling up the fastest on the rec, I could see why people want some changes made to the rec that make it more fun, the experience more enjoyable. I haven't played a single rec game. I'm gonna have to play one with Pod. I'm sure it's gonna go great. But then the big news dropped. It was a couple hours after the patch actually released, so they're a little late on the patch notes, but NBA 2K's official channel put out their tweet saying, next gen patch update two is live. Option to change the shot meter color, major improvements to the city. Let's just dive into it. Uh, so once you get past the very staggering issue of 2K toning down reflections on the glasses and goggles on the coaches and players, and the improved hair physics on the female dancers, something we've all been asking for, and of course, they finally fixed the issue with the Atlanta Hawks mascot's tail. <laughs> hey, uh, I didn't think, I. <laughs> I remember in 2K17 when there was a whole fiasco when 2K in the patch note wrote that they fixed Michael Jordan's tongue or something like that. And everyone was like, whoa, why was that the thing he was focusing on? So after that, they just stopped mentioning these small little things they added into the game. They don't mention these in patch notes no more. So I found it funny that they made a return here. Cause I know in all the patches that they do, they fix really small stuff like this. They just don't ever mention him in the patch notes because they know what people's reaction is gonna be. Anyway, they fixed a whole bunch of player likeness issues, but let's get to the stuff that everybody cares about. Of course, you can change your shot meter color now uh that was something that was in previous 2ks i believe 2k19 they took it out but now it's back after ronnie said that it wasn't gonna see a change 2k here is saying the frequency of contact dunks and alley-oops have been slightly decreased that's something we're gonna touch on in a moment because mike wang did add some details to this and they also made a whole bunch of improvements to the motion including take charge animations v cut sprint launches and dribbling and i'm not gonna lie to you we don't see a lot of motion related improvements to games usually after they launch usually this is stuff that they just work on for the next game. So a little surprised to see it here on 2K21 next gen, but here it is. But the very, very big one, the one that everyone's been waiting for is the first note they wrote here on the city. Improvements to the performance of the city, particularly during gameplay. And this is what everyone's referring to when they say the chop. Now here in the 2K community, apparently we can't just use the actual technical terms like lag or latency. We just create a word that kind of sounds like what we're experiencing. The gameplay feels choppy. We're gonna call it chop. That's what we're going with. This is the term that everyone's gonna start using. Uh, so yeah, the chop seems to have largely subsided. Ronnie did mention one of his streams that the reason it was happening was due to the billboards. I am presuming it's not just the billboards, it's also the other commotion, the players and everything in the background of the games. So it's quite possible that 2K just op better optimized the game to add less polygons so that it just runs more fluently and better. Maybe it's some next gen tech, not, who knows? Well, what we do know is it's not as bad as it once was. And a whole bunch of other technical issues, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, the list goes deep even into the My Career, into the My MBA, since that's been having some issues since launch. And of course, the W, the game mode I haven't tried yet because I've been waiting to do a video on it so I could experience it live on camera for the first time. Let me know if y'all wanna see that video. Also, I didn't say it at the beginning of the video, but can you leave a like maybe? You don't have to, but it would be nice. You know what? Now you do have to. Drop that like, man. Let's run it up. Let's get 200,000. Someone replied to Ronnie saying, Hey, yo, we giving Ronnie a W? 2020 crazy, bro. Hopefully the park frame stutter is fixed soon. Personally, me, I'm getting tired of everybody blaming everything on 2020. What if it's bad for the first half? You know what? Let's not let's not put that into the atmosphere, huh? Uh, Ronnie quote tweeted that guy said, We fixed that too. 2020 is officially bonkered. Collecting too many double E. Dub God damn it! I don't know how to read anymore! We fixed that too. 2020 is officially bonkers, collecting too many Ws. 
the apocalypse is near. Bro, okay, so Mike Wang is following up to give us a little bit more information because in the patch note, it mentioned that there's less contact dunks. And this was after Ronnie on Twitter said that they're not gonna make changes to that. But Mike Wang here on Twitter is saying otherwise, players with high interior defense and the rim protector badge will be dunked on less with today's patch. The block rating still determines the strength of the actual contest and the block success. And that's some news we just recently found out about. Some people might've known, but largely we just assumed that um, the perimeter defense and the interior defense is what increased your contest. But um, Mike Wang explaining here that it's actually your block rating that does that. So if you have a low block rating, but a very high perimeter defense, your contest is still gonna be garbage, even if you're a lockdown defender. And considering how high of a frequency contact dunks was happening, even on me, I have almost all my defensive badges now and I have the rest of my badges on my two-way scoring machine. I was getting dunked on like two, three times again, especially from slashes, especially when they equipped their, grand, their uh, takeover. I almost called it a grand badge, throwback. In other drama news, uh, Ronnie2k, he's trying to memeify himself, I guess, and you know, sometimes it does come across as cringy. This time on Twitter though, Ronnie said this, now that 2K Fest is over, getting back to my real job, and he posted this magazine cover of him being the sexiest man alive. <laughs> And because nobody agreed with that, um, Zach Timmerman, dev for NBA 2K, replied to Ronnie's post, severely ratioing him. Severely, guys. Not just a ratio, it's a severe ratio. And then, of course, more drama was going on between content creators. This time, it was Aiden and Duke, who, of course, has had a very tumultuous relationship. Aiden posted this on Twitter, just caught everyone off guard. I don't really know why he did it, but he said, Dookie Pookie Hey, and added Duke. And the video goes like this. Dookie Pookie back me in my ass. Real talk, though. I don't exactly know what we all just watched. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I, I just don't know what we just watched. But Duke replied to that video saying, you have a scary influence. It was amusing me at first, but now it's annoying. It's definitely getting old. And I was like, oh my God, is this real drama? I don't know, I almost put on the fedora. Oh my God. I mean, Agent Beamstar gave me a text and was like, do you need my services? And I said, yes. story of the day uh yeah duke actually oh my god wow some real drama's going on ladies and gentlemen doesn't that put a big giant smile on your face a little bit aiden responded to duke saying ratio you will eventually turn we are an army we are too strong it's very contagious before you know it you'll start saying such stuff without even realizing it to which Duke responded saying, you will realize that I'm not like these other YouTubers who have joined that side for entertaining their fans. I'll accept the ratio for now. My army's gonna start real soon. Um, wow, maybe been like a couple months since we got some real drama, so that was kind of cool. For our next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, for the people that's still looking to acquire the next generation consoles, PlayStation 5, Xbox, ah, ah, ah. Well, actually not the Xbox, this is specific to the PlayStation 5. PlayStation had some great, very obvious news that they wanted to share with you. We wanna thank gamers everywhere for making the PS5 launch our biggest console launch ever. Demand for the PS5 is unprecedented, so we wanted to confirm that more PS5 inventory will be coming to retailers before the end of the year. Please stay in touch with your local retailers. And across the board, we saw GameStop dropping new PlayStations. We saw Walmart was dropping a whole bunch of new PlayStations. And people were no exaggeration camping out for these. I saw a hilarious photo. Let me find it. This is, I ain't even going to be mad if you, this is somebody outside of a GameStop, guys. Because cause you got to live lavish. <laughs> Don't ever give yourself an opportunity to be uncomfortable. Why would you do that? What, 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 what world? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the type of gamer I aspire to be. And I think we all do. <laughs> this is incredible material here. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, yeah, I'm going to give you all some tips because apparently y'all still haven't figured the game out. Um, I was not plugged to get my PS5. I, I bought it, guys. This is how you do it. Go to the website you think is gonna drop them. If you hear Walmart, it's gonna drop them at 9 p.m. Save your credit card information on Walmart. Well, that's it for the news. Ladies and gentlemen, daily uploads on the second channel. And Detective Agent, he was telling you Minecraft video uploading today with me, G-Man, and Waleed. Ooh, actually, I think it's dropping tomorrow. It's dropping nonetheless, and a daily upload is gonna start. I'm looking to grind hard on the second channel, man. I'm very excited to do that. If you guys haven't already went over there, what are you waiting for? <laughs> well, I'm waiting for you. This video right now is still going on because I'm waiting for you. Some videos on the screen right now. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Let me drink my tea.